So this is in it's in the New Testament, and it says that a person, the person that says that Jesus did not come into the flesh, he did not come in the fleshly body, is that is the spirit of Antichrist. Thank you, Jesus, glory to God, to deny the the virgin birth of, of Christ, to say that he didn't come in the flesh, is the spirit of Antichrist. And then the Apostle Paul, think about how he said that spirit is, is, is already in the world. Even when he was alive thousands of years ago, he said it's already in the world. That spirit is already in the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? That spirit, the spirit is, is the Antichrist. It's a real person, but there's a spirit of Antichrist. Think about like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then when you think about Antichrist, look at communism. Don't nobody want to talk about communism, but it exists. It's a, that's a spirit too. Communism, that's a spirit too. Like a dictatorship with you can't say Christ. Look how the, look how China did the Chinese people. They they took the Bible apps from them. They burnt the churches. Think about how, how not too long ago that they did this. They started burning churches. One after another. Burning churches. Burning churches. They burnt the churches. And then they started paying money for people to turn in Christians. They paid people money for turning in Christians. Communism. Thank you, Jesus, glory to God. That's Antichrist. Think of North Korea. That's Antichrist too. They don't want you to speak the word of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Uh, China took Christian out of their uh, Christian and Christ and Jesus. They they uh, did away with the Bible apps. And now they're saying that you can't say Jesus. Then they burnt the churches. And then they, they was paying people, they citizens to turn in other Christians. That's antichrist, man. Antichrist. They're against Christ, man. And you know what? What are these American people, like it or not, is coming to America. Slowly but surely, it's coming to America. It's like, God, show me this. The spirit of communism is coming to America. Then I had somebody ask me, America is a, a, a diplomat. What did he say? What did he say? America is a democracy. How is, how is communism coming over here? You're going to see it. I'm going to tell you some, some forms of communism. When we can't go get on a, if, if we can't speak our mind, uh, we, we censored. Uh, we getting blocked. Uh, we getting kicked off this site. We getting kicked off this social media site. We do, man, that's a form of communism right there. We can't even, we just voicing when we can't even say our opinion and we get ridiculed for that. That's communism. It's already come over here. <laughs> if it, thank you, Jesus. Some people might can get this and some people not may, may not. Thank you, Jesus. Anytime that you can't even, I'm typing, well, like I might say, I think Biden is a jackass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then they're going to fact check it. They're going to censor it. Like if it don't meet their standards, that's the first thing they say. Oh, it doesn't meet our community standards. A fact check. It's already coming over here, man. It's already come. And I'm going to tell y'all why it's coming over here. You know why? So they can control the people. You know why? Because they want to convert the system into an antichrist system. And when we're saying it's already like that, it's just certain things that they that they ain't, ain't really emphasizing on. We can see this right now. We can see, man, I've been I've been telling people, like God showed me the spirit of communism is slowly coming to America. You know why the Chinese come into America? Because they want to, they want to, when, when the Lord talked, he said, they want to bring communism, they want to make this a communist place. Over here, 
Why do you think they got so much farmland over here? Put them camp. They're going to put some camps up. Why do you think they had a, a, a police station in New York? And then they, they put up a, a flag, a Chinese flag. They had a police. I don't know if they still got it or not. It was on the news. The Chinese had a police station in New York City. It was somewhere in New York. And then they raised a, a Chinese flag on the flagpole. What they're, te what they're telling you, man. Come on, y'all. What they're telling you. You think communism ain't coming over here? They want to take over. Um, America owe them. Other nations owe them too. And then the Lord spoke to me, Anthony. They been bought out. America been bought out. <laughs> I hate to say it. America been sold out and bought out. You know why? Look at, B I don't want to get on Bill Gates. Well, why is Bill Gates buying all this farmland? Ted Turner. Ted Turner that 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 say that it's too many, uh, it's too many people populating this world. But anyway, think of how Bill Gates owns this. Um, let's focus on China right quick. China own 190k, 190,000 acres of land in America. Why, why did they let them buy all this land in America? And they got businesses over here too. And it's one of these ports. I, I don't know if it's the West Coast or the East Coast. East Coast or the West Coast. Where China owned that. The boats that coming in. The, to unload their cargo. China owned that. I think, it's, I think it's on the West Coast. I looked it up. America don't own that. China own that man. China own that man. And it's a it's a place in the the sea. I forgot what all these boats got to go through. And China trying to take over there right now. China trying to take over there right now. Why China got uh a, man? I'm I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. Thank you, and God showed me China gonna invade America. I don't know who. It really don't care. I don't really care if people get mad. I saw this, man. China going to, it's going to be a time when China going to invade America. And I seen them trying to drop bombs on naval bases. <laughs> I seen them trying to drop bombs on naval bases, China. But anyway, uh, people don't, people don't think like, thank you, Jesus, glory to God. I'm just going to say this. They say the national debt, the national debt, the national debt. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you owe China, you think they ain't going to come collect with, on their on they money? That's why they lend it out in the first place. Man, God spoke to me. He like, he said, America has been sold, bought and sold out. Look at all this land they own over. What do what you think they... What you think China gonna make on them? On, on, what they? What you think China gonna do with the land over here? What you think they gonna do? Farm? You think they gonna farm some stuff over here? Man, they are gonna put some camps up, man. They gonna? I'm trying to tell you, man. Try to take over America, man. Put some. If anything, put bases up. Think about people. Ain't think about that. Oh yeah, let me tell you what. What else he showed? So. It was one day, a lot of people were coming over the border. A lot of people, uh, refugees or whatever. And I, and I pray, I said, God, why is all of these people coming over this border? Why are all these people? And then he said, a war is coming. A war is coming. And then he showed me that balloon, which is not just a balloon. When they, when they fired that missile, and bust that balloon. It's something was in that balloon. I don't know what it is. It was something. When they fired that missile, whatever they shot that balloon, the Lord showed me it was something in it. I don't know what was in that balloon, man. I don't know what was in it. Like, I don't know, like germs or something, like something foreign, like something, like, you know what I'm saying? And then... Man, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, man. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth, man. What God showed me, like, 
You know what I'm saying? When he first showed me, 